It's that time again. This is your boy Keith with Million Man. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to see y'all. The question of the day is why the nice guys finish last? Why can't they get the girl? Why why do they always seem like they never get the chance to win? Why do they always feel like they come in the second place? Let me help you. The first thing, the first issue is you do not prioritize you. Now listen to me. I know I've been the nice guy where I'm literally putting in the work. I'm doing all the effort. I'm listen, that's not how you build nothing. If you got a partner and you got a business, the f- you do not do all the work and still consider that person a partner, do you? You don't put in all the effort, do all of the running, do all the chasing. Let me tell you something. When it's a relay race and it's time to pass on that baton, somebody has to be there to get it. This is a relay race. And you have to understand, when you're in a relationship or you're in a dating, when you're prioritizing you, you don't run the whole race alone. That person got to put in the work. But you got to understand that you are worth something. You have to understand what your actual self-worth is. Because when you lack the understanding of what you're worth, how could you ever get somebody who's willing to pay that price? Who's willing to really put in the effort, put in the time, put in the work, put in the energy? I know us nice guys, we feel like, listen, I love her. I want her. You barely know her. Cut it out. Cut it out. We do all this work and I've been in that seat, man. Where I'm literally like, yo, she's she's beautiful. She's this, she's that. She's on this pedestal. And when I put her on that pedestal, she thinks she could be a queen. But let me tell you something. A queen take care of the kingdom. That's a princess. A princess ain't got to do nothing but answer the daddy. They ain't got to do nothing but sit on their butt and look cute. You nurturing that princess mentality. When you should be looking for a queen. Or let me tell you about the, the lioness. The lion does not do all of the work. The lion makes sure the tribe is protected and plays a crucial role in making sure that the preservation you provide to see so that the the lineage goes on, right? Whereas the lioness hunts, the lioness protects the cubs, the lioness feeds the cubs, the lioness births the cubs. The lioness is doing a lot of work and I'm sorry, but this is the truth of the matter. You got to understand, because a lot of times you don't even know what you want. You got all this time, energy, and effort for this individual. You do all this thinking. You do all this pondering. What do they want? What do they think? What do they need? When you don't have an understanding of what you want, what you need. Listen, if you can come walk this walk with me, you can come do this relays with me. I need this. I need that. I need this. And I need that. Without that... You can't come walk with me. That's my pup. You can't come talk with me. You can't you can't walk in these shoes. I'm not putting my arms over your shoulder. What what, what is that? What what is that? It's not having set standards. When you have set standards, you take what you can get. And let me tell you something. Taking what you can get is literally putting yourself here and putting everybody else above you. This is why you are finishing last. The reason why is because you're looking at everybody else is worth more, doing more, and they deserve more. I've been in that seat. Your selfless nature is costing you. It's costing you the girl. Or I'm sorry, the woman. Or as I said before, it's costing you the lioness. It, or for some of y'all, it's costing you the lion. It's costing you the king. Let me tell you something. Being nice, and then you <laughs> being categorized as a nice guy. You know, times this is coming from a former nice guy. You know, times I had to hear the, the the statement, and if you were a nice guy, you probably heard it. You are a nice dude. You are such a nice guy, but I don't care what comes after the butt. I don't. I don't know why. Is because <laughs> only thing they're doing is telling you I'm not willing to work for you. Why? It's because of the things that I mentioned. You don't prioritize. You you don't know what you're worth. You don't know what your wants are. You don't have no standards. And then you just taking what you can get. And as you take what you get, people are just going to keep giving you less because they don't have to work for this. Understand your value. Understand your worth. Because when you do, 
Let me tell you something. You can't step to me with the wrong energy. You can't get that energy from me with that attitude. You can't set the bar. If the bar is going to be here, keep it there. Stop letting people that's only here get the benefits of those who need to be here. You understand me? The reason you keep finishing last is because you letting everybody go before you. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You holding the door for all these females that's just mistreating you. Go ahead. Go ahead. What else? You need me to put, put away your coat? Oh, I got you. And you never make it into the door. She could see you. Homeboy that he stepped in first and was right there for every, bit of every, every female that walked in the building. So this is for my fellas. The reason you keep finishing last is because you letting it happen to yourself. Assess. Self-assessment is one of the most important keys to your development. Don't categorize yourself as a nice guy. Cate categorize yourself as a king, as the lion. Because then you know you don't need no princess. You don't accept no peasant. They better come with they, they better come correct. Because if they do not, you don't want them. This is your boy Keith with Million Men. I'm just trying to add a little bit of value. And maybe I sounded a little bothered. I took too many L's being a nice guy. But anyway. If you made it to this point in the video, let me know. Let me know that you saw everything. Let me know what you think. I'm just trying to help people. Learn from me. I'm going to see you all in the next video.